is Melissa and welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be going thrift shopping and if you can see behind me, this is a little sneak peek of a canvas that I found at one of the thrift shops today. I went to Goodwill and I also went to a small town thrift store and I found so many goodies. If you are new here, my favorite ways to decorate are 70s, uh, hippie vibes, some mid-century stuff, and also Victorian era as well. And I don't know, I like a whole bunch of stuff. Anything that basically makes me happy or speaks to my soul. I have a very huge love with used things and handmade things that I find in thrift shops because it's meaningful to me that somebody made that item and now it's just sitting in a thrift shop and so I can own it and cherish it and possibly even pass it on to my kids someday. I don't keep everything because I don't want to become a hoarder. <laughs> but the really special things and the things that I love the most um, I definitely will keep for a very long time, if not forever, depending on what it is. I love really cool retro dishes. And then also I got some clothes too, but the clothes isn't really vintage this time. It's just kind of like some summer gardening clothes. So if you want to see that, it's at the very end. So I'm not going to keep gabbing on. I just want to get right into the thrift shopping portion. And then at the end, I'm going to share with you guys what I got. So let's get on to the video. <laughs> My first stop is Goodwill and I'm checking out some cute little cottage core odds and ends that I found on the shelf. I'm not sure what this little fish is supposed to be, maybe a vase or a vase of some kind. It's pretty interesting though. Then I always have to go into the dishes section and see if I can find any cute antique or vintage dishes. I just thought these were cute. Is this called melam melamine? Melamine? I don't know. But they'd be perfect for in the camper. Fruit and floral dishes are so cute for springtime, very cottage core again, and these blue ones are very simple but so cute. What is your guys' favorite type of vintage dishes? I thought this set was so adorable, it reminded me of a little Victorian tea party, but the best stuff is coming up soon. I also always check out the little coffee mugs, but look at these you guys. Oh my goodness, the color is my favorite color to find in the thrift store or the antique shop. These two colors both, but amber glass still is my number one. Green's coming in second. And these things are so cute. I don't know how old they are, but like some kind of dinner tray. I am kind of sad I didn't get those actually. And then I'm just going to show you some more pretty little glass beautiful trays that I found. So many good glassware this time. So I thought these were cute, but as soon as I saw what was underneath them, I wanted to scream in the store because these things are gorgeous. They're so amazing and perfect, and I was literally freaking out internally when I found these on the shelf. How cute would this be for a Thanksgiving tablescape with the little pine cones and leaves and the amber glass? And then again, I have one of these already, but this is like the most beautiful style to me. I just love those like sparkly little, I don't know what they're called, but anyways, yeah, here's some more cute stuff, green stuff and amber glass. This one was so cute. I had it in the cart, but I put it back. It looked very like, I don't know, sunflower cute. I just loved it. And then I have a thing for old TV trays. I don't know, that's what I call them. Is that what they're called? I'm not sure. But I've seen these at the vintage shops a lot and then I've never seen them in a Goodwill before. So I was really excited to see these there. I didn't end up getting any of them. I almost got the green one, but I decided I'm going to try to hold out because I want to kind of get a matching set and I want them to be colors that I really, really love. And I want them to be this bigger size instead of the tiny ones. I actually have one of these little teacups and I think I have the plate to go with it so I probably should have got these but I didn't need them even though I do love the color. I 
Do you guys see this pot? Oh my goodness, I'm really sad that I didn't get this one because it is perfection for cottage core. So beautiful. And this is kind of cute. I don't know what it, I don't think it's actually old, but I, th I thought it was kind of cute and you guys might like to see it. And of course, look at these colors. These colors speak to my soul. They make me so happy. I just thought this guy was really funny. At first I thought those were real human teeth, <laughs> but I think they're just rocks on a little coconut monkey. And I always have to check out these pretty wall hangings. I love all the gold and like the leafy flowery cuteness. These are absolutely beautiful. They would have gone perfectly in my house. I honestly don't know why I didn't get these. They would have gone really good on my Victorian lady wall. And you guys, this would have been so cute because I want to do a 4th of July tablescape. So I, I don't know. I really liked it, but I didn't end up getting it. I feel like this kind of modern looking candelabra would have been really, really a beautiful, stunning statement piece in the middle of a table. I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. And then some more little cute Victorian looking things I found. Look at this beautiful vintage sewing box, you guys. I loved this so much and I ended up Googling this because, and I was able to find it and I'm pretty sure it was from the 70s, but as I was Googling, I found so many online that I liked better. And so if I think if I ever get one, I'm gonna probably buy one on Etsy because I really want it to be like my favorite colors, but this was absolutely adorable. And here's a little cute cottage core ducky picture. A couple of random ties I was walking by that just, I don't know, I thought were cute. Look at that one. That's so cute. I'm like, I wish I could turn that into a headband or something because I loved that tie. This adorable amber glass star bud vase was so cute. And now I am going on to the second uh, thrift store. So this one is a small town thrift store and you'll probably notice the prices are way, way better here than Goodwill. Um, look at how cute this is with the little hydrangeas. I loved this. It's perfect for springtime and Easter decorations. And there was a set of three of these cute little Eastery mugs too, if you guys like that cottage core stuff. And then this was so cute. Somebody looks like they made this, I believe. It's adorable and it was very, I'm going to say cottage core like 500 times in this video. Here's a Norman Rockwell plate. I thought this girl was sassy and cute and she probably deserves to be on my wall, but I didn't get her. And this is just like perfect for the nature vibes I've been going for. And how cute. I always like to show you guys some of the artwork that I find in the thrift shops and I thought that this one was so cute for like a farmhouse vibe. I loved it. Once again, I have to check out anything that was handmade, little tapestries made by some sweet person. I haven't got very far on my flower garden or my veggie garden this year and I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do this year, you guys, so stay tuned. I was internally, again, freaking out when I saw this beautiful wall art. You guys, I just saw somebody, uh, Silver Fox Finds on Amazon was selling one of these and I was like, oh my gosh, I found my own. I'm so excited. And then this beautiful, huge canvas, I just absolutely adored it and it was such a good price. These cups were stunning and they had like a rainbow shine to them. And of course, fruits, cottage core again. I 
I thought that this was kind of a unique piece with its little etched glass. It reminded me of a Victorian-esque thing. And then of course I always have to check out handmade aprons because they're so cute and they just remind me of like days on the farm or something. I just think they're adorable. And yeah, oh my gosh, you guys, look at these. Look at this cute vintage candle. And I don't know, I was just like freaking out when I saw this stuff because I was so excited. These were really tempting because I've been looking for strawberry stuff for my tablescape that's coming soon on my YouTube channel, but I didn't get them because I think I'm just going to use real strawberries for that, but I loved this plate. It was so cute and I didn't end up getting it. So I'm almost 100% positive that we had this in my house growing up. Mom, Dad, if you're watching, tell me. I swear we had this. I I swear. <laughs> and then look at this cute little duck candle. I just found like a whole dish set to this in Goodwill last month. This is such a unique looking little jar. I love it. It's so different and it's so beautiful. And I always love to look at doilies and this one was precious. I also like to check out the whole embroidery section and look at little towels and cute things that people made because they just make me so happy. I probably should have got this towel because this is like happiness in a hand towel, this little yellow one. So cute. I love this little moose. I thought it was so cute for my son's nature themed room, but he's kind of getting older so I might change that up soon anyways. And then I always have to look at all of the cute vintage fabric scraps because someday I'm hoping I will learn how to quilt. I think somebody dropped off a whole section of 80s hair doodads and also 90s, but look at these banana clips. If you guys were born in the 80s, you probably wore these a lot in your life and some of these little hair barrettes as well. I got so excited when I saw these vintage Vanity Fair. I don't know, is it a chemist or a nighty? I don't know, they're so cute. I don't think this one was a Vanity Fair one, but you could tell that it looked like an older one. They were so fun, you guys. I love them. The next one I'm about to show you is beautiful with this blue butterfly and it was maxi link all the way down to the floor it was a size small like i wanted it so bad but i ended up not getting it and could someone please tell me how old it is because i don't know but this one is a hundred percent screaming 80s like 80s prom dress or maybe like a 80s bridesmaid dress or something oh my gosh this was so fun it has tulle underneath and just crazy like i would never wear it but it was really really fun to find this at the thrift store so again i was freaking out because i found these vintage looking books they're beautiful the paper in them has like the look of like recycled paper with all the squiggly little lines on each page they're just so stunning they're in great condition they look like they've never even been opened before and there was four of them and the colors were just speaking to my soul they're gonna look so good with my house decor sneak peek i got them <laughs> Do any of you guys read classic stories and if so what is your favorite classic book to read because I need to read some more of them. I was reading Pride and Prejudice and some other Jane Austen books and they are so beautiful. I love Jane Austen 
And then this thing was just funny, so I had to show you guys. I don't even know what it is, but it had this funny head on top and then all the heads around the side of it. And I just wanted to ask you guys, have you seen this before? What is it? <laughs> and then I found these more cute embroidery. Oh my gosh. So these are pillowcases that somebody had made and they're so cute, but they did have some little stains on them and I ended up not getting any. This one was my favorite though. So cute. The colors, I just loved them all, but just adorable. Okay, I don't know where to start. Sometimes I'll save the best for last, but I'm just going to share that I got this and how many of you were not surprised who already have been here on my channel before you know I got this right I mean that was just like a duh moment so anyways it's so cute it has this little candle snuffer came with a candle oh my goodness this is so like cool Victorian like I just want to like light this candle and like write a long story by my window with like this burning and be wearing an old Victorian nightgown and read some old magazines, which I got, by the way, I didn't show you guys those. I'm not to show you those because I got them at an antique shop and I don't think I shared them in any of my videos yet. So I got some more. I have some Victorian magazines and I also have um, a couple of like hippie magazines. So I'll show you guys those at the end too. And then I got these beautiful, beautiful plates. Oh my goodness, I've never seen these type of things at the thrift store before. They're so cute. They just give me all of the 70s hippie vibes. They're stoneware. And I don't actually know how old they are. I'm assuming that's how old they are. So I will like look them up and then I'll put them, I'll put it right here. But anyways, I love these so much. I wish I could have a whole set of these, but I'm just really happy to have these two. If you guys don't know yet, I have mostly all um, brown glass dishes, uh, amber glass, green. Those are like my favorite colors. And so speaking of that, I got these bowls as well. I've got one of these. If you guys have watched my other thrifting videos, I got one of these in the past, the same exact one, but now I have two so I can have them on my tablescapes with like different snacks and things in them. I do a lot of tablescapes here and I post them on my videos as well. And then I have this one, which I have bigger amber glass bowls like this that I use all the time and like banana bread pans and stuff in this color and I just love them. I think they look so cool. So I'm hoping to someday have like a whole collection of just the brown ones or possibly brown, green, amber glass colors and then get rid of all my clear ones because we got all the like Pyrex clear ones and stuff when we were married and they're just... These are so much cooler. Then I got this cool little jar. I've never seen one like this before. It has the lid and it like looks clean. It looks brand new. I don't know how old this is. I'm gonna see if I can find it online. It says made in Belgium, but yeah, so cool. I don't know, I'm gonna put something in here. I love that it has like a good uh, tight closed lid. So I don't know. I don't know. What should I put in here? Like a candy or something? Or I don't know. I feel like I want this out on like a table with like some candies or something in it rather than like hiding away in my cupboard with something in it. But I love it. It's so cool. I also really love brass items. I was born in the early 80s and my mom had brass everything. All of the decorations were brass everywhere and I just, I don't know, it brings back like nostalgic um, childhood memories and this actually works I'm pretty sure it has holes in there and one inside here so I mean I probably never actually used it but I thought it'd be really really cute for spring decor like Easter decor cottage core decor how many kinds can I say decor and speaking of that I got this little wood duck oh my gosh it's so cute so I thought that these would look really cute. If you guys haven't watched my most recent video where I decorate my fireplace, my faux fireplace mantle for spring, um, these would go like perfect with that. So I'll probably do that again next year if I keep the same theme or I don't know, they're just, they're just so cute in cottage core. And then I got this. Oh my goodness, you guys. This was only $2.99, and then I forgot to show you the little sign when I was walking in. Everything that was red, white, or blue, or had pink tags was 50% off. So I had like $1.50 for this. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cool. The lady came up to me and talked to me about this when she saw me looking at it, and she was telling me that it's from the 70s, because I was telling her, I'm decorating one of my rooms, very 70s vibes. 
and um, I just love this. And I said, this looks like something be from the 70s. And she said, it is. And so she was telling me that she used to sell this. I don't know what the company is. I'm going to look it up. But she used to sell from this company. And she said, you could get them on all different colors. And she was telling me, you can spray paint it any color that you want. It comes with three butterflies. And it's just going to be so perfect in my little hippie room. And um, I don't know, like I kind of love the color that it is already, like it looks old and weathered and cool. I don't know, I mean I could paint it white or like brown or orange or gold, but I don't know, I can't decide. So I'm just going to see like how I like it when I try hanging it up and decide what color. But what, what would you guys do? Would you leave it this color or would you paint it another color? Comment below because I'm like really scared to paint it. I feel like I'm going to regret it if I paint it because it looks like this is the original paint on here, I'm pretty sure. So I can't decide, but they're so cute. Okay, then I got all four of these books because they are amazing. I'm still holding out to find myself a Pride and Prejudice, like an original really old copy. I want one so bad. I look every time I go to any thrift shop or antique shop. I haven't found one yet, but these are so, so stunning. And these remind me of books that my dad had when I was a kid. They were his when he was a kid. I don't even, they might've even been his parents when they were little. I don't remember. Um, but he had a whole set of like children's books and they all matched and I just love this gold. It's so beautiful. Um, I don't know. I just, these are going to be used for decoration probably all over my house because I use books to stack things on and I don't know. I, I, I might possibly read them someday because I have been trying to read more old books and I was just like so excited to find all four of these and the colors are like perfect for like my house and everything so I'm like I'm really excited okay look how cute so the little women one I can't find a date anywhere inside of here like why is there no date in there like for copyright or when it was printed um the little house in the big woods the Laura Ingalor blah, 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 blah. Wilder <laughs> book, The Little House on the Prairie. This one said 1930s copyright. And then the Dr. Shivago, am I saying that right? Um, that one was 1950s. And then the last one says The French Lieutenant's Woman. And this one was 1969. So I don't know if they like, I don't know, maybe they're all from the same person, but very pretty. Then I picked up this beautiful hand embroidered table runner. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I love it, it's so cottage core. I'm 100% going to be using this when I do one of my cottage core picnics or tea parties. It's gonna look so, so good with all of my cutesy, girly little dainty dishes and tea sets. And I can't wait to share that with you guys. Then this canvas. So this canvas was $5.99. It's huge. It's in perfect condition. Absolutely gorgeous. And I like want it somewhere in my house, but then I have not a lot of wall space and it's really big. And my first thought was text my daughter because she's going to love it. She has like a space themed room. She's all into NASA and all this cool space stuff. So I thought it would be really cool to put that in her room. She's got a huge tapestry in her room that's like a night sky. So how perfect was this for her bedroom? And also I forgot to mention that since it had white stars, they gave it to me for 50% off. So what is that? <laughs> Three bucks. Three bucks for this awesome canvas. It's like brand new. Like I just love thrift shopping. Like how do you find, I mean, you'd go to like a store anywhere else and pay so much money for something like that. Three dollars. Gotta love thrift shopping. Then I really, really wanted to pick up those vintage Vanity Fair nightgowns, but I, I don't know. I'm just like, I know I'm never probably going to wear those ones because they're like the satiny, sweaty material. <laughs> and the only time I'd ever want to wear something like that probably like as a pajama would be in the summer and I just feel like it's not practical for me but they were so cool They're also so cheap because I could have got those blue ones for 50% off I was trying to find them like with Google images and I was having a really hard time picking out how old they were so if you guys know how old those nightgowns were let me know because they were so much fun but I did now get some here's a clothing section portion of the video um, just some workout tanks basically or like sleep tanks 
And so they're just bright, happy colors, my favorite thing. And I'm gonna wash these in scalding hot water. <laughs> but just like super nice for when I'm out gardening, which I'm hoping to be making some gardening content for you guys soon if you like that. Um, and then this one, it's pink, but since it had this tiny little line of white stitching on the top, she gave it to me for 50% 50 50 off. So I was like, what a sweetheart. They're just so nice in the small town gift shops. Um, and then I got this one. Look how bright and happy these are. They're just the cutest. So they're going to be perfect for outside in the blasting summer sun. And this bright colored one as well. It's great with like sports bras and some workout shorts. I'm going to be doing a an athletic video, like try on video. So if you guys want to see that pretty soon, I will have that on my channel. And yeah, I have a whole bunch of really good athletic wear to share with you guys if you like that kind of stuff for summer. It's just the most comfortable thing to wear in the summer. Um, then I got this one, which has this cute little strappy back, which would be so cute with another like strappy sport bra, which are my favorite thing. You guys, I got some on Shein. I got some on um, Timu, the new thing. So I'm going to be having a haul for that coming up as well. And I have some from Amazon. You guys, I have so many good ones to share with you. Um, but then I have this little, this is actually an American Eagle. I'm pretty sure it's a men's tank, but I found it. it was so cute and it has like the huge armpit. So this is going to be a pajama for me. It's almost like dress length on me, like a little mini dress to wear to bed. These are the vintage magazines that I have. These ones are antiques. Look at the date. May 1907 and this one is December of 1905. So I have a plan for a future video where I'm going to read you guys those magazines or one of them. Probably do two separate videos. But they're so, so cool. And I have them in frames because I, I'm going to be hanging them on my wall and I don't want them to get ruined because they're very, very fragile. Um, but I did want to also show you guys these ones. They're both Better Homes and Gardens. And this one is 1975 and another 1975. So super cottage core and adorable. And I'm really excited to share these with you guys in the future. Let me know if you'd want to see a video on them and which one you are most interested in seeing. These two, I believe, are both Minnesota magazines. Oh no, this one's Maine. This one is Minneapolis. We're from Minnesota, so that's really cool. And um, I've read both of those two like a million times, but these ones I haven't got to read yet. This Minnesota one is a Christmas one, so I think I'm going to do a Christmas video out of that one, but love them all. And one more amazing find I forgot to share with you guys are these amber glass candlesticks. I don't think I showed you these in the last video. I'm just going to show you anyways, even if I did, because I don't remember. Um, but these I got at a flea market here in Minnesota. And they are absolutely stunning, and the guy gave me a good deal. I kept walking past them, and he's like, all right, I'm going to give you less. I've been asked about them by five people already, and he gave me a deal. So I'm so, so happy that I got those, and I can't wait to use them for decorating. So anyways, that is all that I have to share with you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed my little thrifting haul. What was your favorite thing that I found today? And if you hear all that background noise, that's my dog. She's got the zoomies right now, and she's shaking around running around the house. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks so much for joining me. Make sure that you are following along and um, come check out my future videos because I have a lot more stuff coming soon. The kids are almost out of school and I'm going to be cranking out the videos. There she goes again. Okay, but anyways, yes, have a very happy start to your summer and stay cool and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!